So in this video, I want to show you exactly the breakdown of a high converting book funnel. Okay, so we're actually going to use a couple different examples and I'm actually going to also relate that to one of the funnels that I run that is similar. It's not necessarily a physical book, but it does convert really, really well. All right. So what do I mean by book funnel? Well, if you've ever seen like an ad for, you know, hey, free book, expert secrets or free book, dot uh, com secrets or free book, uh, traffic secrets, just pay shipping, then this is exactly what a book funnel is. So this means that pretty much Russell Brunson, uh, he is selling a book on the front end. He says, hey, it's free plus shipping. You get the book for free, you can buy it on Amazon for 20 bucks. But if you just pay for shipping, 10 bucks for shipping, you'll get it completely for free. All right. And then what does he do after that? What does he do? He upsells you. He tries to sell other products and services to you. So let's go into his exact funnels. Okay. So how do I know about these funnels? It's because I'm actually an affiliate for these funnels. I sell uh, I promote these books on the back end of my products themselves. So I sell my own marketing uh, materials and then on the back end inside of my courses and inside of my dashboards, I promote Russell Brunson's products. I promote his books and uh, his software. So that's why I know the exact funnels themselves. So let's go over to his dot-com secrets book and we're going to talk about why this is so powerful. Okay. So if you are an author or you're a coach or a consultant and maybe you have a book or maybe you're thinking about writing a book, you might be wondering like, why would I want to give away my book for free? Well, there is a long-term strategy related to this. Okay. So let's go over, over his, uh, his front end of the book funnel. It's dot com secrets, right? It's nine ninety five. It sells for nine ninety five. Okay. So he's pretty much breaking even. He's not making any money on this book. And again, you might be thinking, why would I even bother doing that? But at the, the goal of this is not to just make money on the book. The goal of this is to eventually sell more products and services down the road. So we're going to start with this funnel and then we have a customer. Okay. That is the benefit of this rather than just running traffic, uh, to a, a opt-in page where you're getting an email right for free. Those are typically the people that might not always be serious about purchasing. When you're running a book funnel and you're getting these customers, you're getting a list of customers that you can continue to market to. You can continue to sell to. They become a part of your ecosystem and you know that it's high. It's a high quality list. They're high quality people because they took out their credit cards and they voted. They said, yes, I will take this book. I am interested in this uh, topic and I want to buy. Okay. That is much more valuable than building a list of someone that just wants something for free and they might never even buy from you. Okay. So after you buy the, the dot com secrets book, um, which is right here, this is the landing page for the book. You can see it's pretty detailed for giving away a free book, right? There's testimonials, uh, more about the book bonuses, like all of these things really encourage you to buy the book. You might be thinking like, why am I giving all this stuff away? But you have to realize the value of it on the back end. Okay. So let's go over after you buy the book, you have to have a landing page that really encourages someone to want to buy, to want it. Not only are, do they want the book, but they want the bonuses. The bonuses really add to it. All right. Then the next page after you click order is an upsell for the audiobook. Now this is really important. You don't want to sell the same exact thing or the same mechanism, right? You don't want to sell another book. Like they just bought a book on marketing. Don't sell them another book on marketing. It's not going to convert well. But what Russell does is he uh, does an upsell for his audiobook, which yeah, maybe you, you want the book, but you also want to read the book, uh, listening to audio, right? I love doing that. I feel like I comprehend, uh, I comprehend the book itself so much better when I listen to the audio book and read the book. I know that kind of sounds weird, but I do it all the time. So, um, after that you can either buy it or not buy it. Right. And then it goes to another one, another upsell where it's a two day event. It's 97 bucks. All right. And then it shows all my commissions on the bottom that I get from this. And then it goes to another upsell, then another upsell, then another upsell. It's Funnel University, right? It's a course teaching about funnels. And then the next one is Funnel Accelerator Action Pack for $297. And then finally, it, the Ultimate Marketing Video Toolkit for $197. So as you can see, after all of these products are shown, there is a potential to make $784. Right. So do you see how how just giving away one book where you break even on the front, 
has the potential to earn $784, all right? So you're getting, a, 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 you're building a list of customers for, for free and making that in return, okay? So of course not everyone is going to buy every single one of these products, of course they're not. But there are some people who say, hey, I like the book, I'm gonna also take the audiobook. Oh, I, I, I'm also gonna take Funnel University. And then, you know, maybe those are the only products they buy. But now Russell has you on the back end to promote ClickFunnels, to promote his inner circle, to promote all these different products, you know, higher ticket products. He talks about the value ladder. You have to start low on the value ladder. Start low by, you know, explaining what you talk about, what you do. And he does that all in this book. And then he moves you up the value ladder, giving you more opportunities to buy, all right? So do you see how that all works in this book funnel? And he does the same exact thing in all of these books, right? Expert Secrets, it's the same thing. Expert Secrets followed by audiobook and literally the same upsells. So you know this works. His Traffic Secrets book, same exact thing. Traffic Secrets followed by the audiobook, followed by courses, upsells, upsells, downsell, and that's it. You can see it works. Otherwise, he wouldn't be doing it on all of his different books, okay? So I wanna show you my example of something similar where I sell something where I pretty much make no money on the front, but I make the money on the back end, okay? So this is really a longer term strategy that you need to focus on, is getting customers in, getting people in that have are ready to vote with their credit card, they're ready to buy from you. And it might not be your most expensive product, but just get them to purchase something from you of extreme value, something really valuable that you can give to them, that you can share with them, and then convert them later on as you build a relationship with them to your higher ticket products, okay? So my example is my um, ChatGPT marketing prompts. So this converts at about, a the landing page converts at about a 12 to 13% conversion rate. So these are ChatGPT marketing prompts that I sell directly from my YouTube channel for $1, okay? and Think about it the same way you think about a book funnel, right? The point is not to make the money on the front end. The point is not to, you know, make a ton of money selling a $1 digital, you know, download. It, that's not the point. The point is to get buyers into my funnel, into my ecosystem to where I could sell them over and over and over again. Now, this exact funnel that I use has the potential all the products, all the upsells that I offer has the potential to make $1,157. So all those, all the products combined that I show the, the buyers have a potential to earn almost $1,200. Now, what the crazy thing about all this is, you know, not only do I, do I have the potential to get $1,200 uh, from all the products that I could sell, but I also optimize it on the back end. So once you actually buy this $1, uh, the $1 marketing prompts, you actually go into a, uh, a dashboard where all the courses that I sell and the actual ChatGPT marketing prompts are. I also have a bonus video where the bonus video goes through my exact funnel. It goes through my exact funnel and it shows you everything I do. And I also promote click funnels. I promote these books and I promote my consulting and coaching services. So do you see how getting one buyer in through a dollar product really puts the barrier between people that are just seeking freebies to the, the actual paying customers and how valuable it is to have a paying customer. Okay, so after I pitch the, or after my landing page has the option for the ChatGPT marketing prompts for $1, you know, I have quick, you know, testimonials and then I compare it quickly, you know, it's, I could easily sell for $49, but I sell it for $1. And then I say, I have a mystery bonus for free. So that mystery bonus is a training about the funnel itself that people just went through. And then I go through all of the different, um, all of the different, all of the different upsells and downsells that I have. So here is the order form. You can buy for $1 and then I have an order form bump where it's $37. So this adds to my revenue, right? This is another product that I'm selling, 309 Marketing Secrets that you can get. You know, all it is is, hey, click here if you want it. Perfect, if not, that's fine too. All right, that converts at about 20%. Then I have a course, Rapid Traffic Tactics. 
uh, that is the first upsell. Now, one of the uh, one of the things that I question and poll my audience on is, what do you want? And most people respond to it; they want more traffic. So this actual course is. Uh, filled with the methods and the strategies that literally landed me my first client that paid me 2500 bucks for six weeks of coaching and it's all in this video so this is the first upsell uh, it's 97 bucks and then I sent if you don't want it I simply have a payment plan hey p make two payments for 49 bucks and you can still get it today also I have a 180 day satisfaction guarantee um, so you don't even have to make a decision if you want it right away. All right. So do you see how this is really adding to the revenue that you're going to make in this funnel? All right. Just like your book funnel, it adds to the revenue. All right. And then I have a mentor program where it's $9.95 and here is the sales page for it. it's real quick. 995 bucks to get lifetime access to me and answering questions for you and helping you. And then I have a uh, quick uh, marketing master plan template. So a uh, template for creating a marketing plan for 27 bucks. And those are the upsells, okay? It's really simple. You could do it all really easily within ClickFunnels and build this out. Now, this is, you know, I, I get it. It's probably overwhelming to think about all these products, all these upsells, downsells. None of this was created in a day. You will, if you are wanting to do something like this, none of it will be created in a day, but just start with one page at a time, one landing page at a time. I literally created my first, uh, the landing page for the ChatGPT prompts for $1. I created that, that was the first thing I even did. Obviously you need to take it one step at a time, but that was the first thing I did. And within 30 minutes of putting all those links up in my YouTube videos, I got my, sale, my first sale for $1. And I was ecstatic, I loved it, it was like, it was just validation that this is going to work. And now you just need to take time to optimize each um, order form bump or upsell that you do. All right. So this is Russell's book funnel, my funnel that's similar. Uh, it would be considered a tripwire funnel. But the benefit of all of this is now I have a list of buyers. I have a list of people that are ready to spend money on marketing. All right at least uh, within my ecosystem, all right? And that's how Russell does it. And whatever your uh, your industry is, you can do that as well. Build a list of buyers, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful for you. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.